Philosophy of Technology, Wikipedia article audio The philosophy of technology is a subfield of philosophy that studies the nature of technology and its social effects. History Philosophical discussion of questions relating to technology dates back to the very dawn of Western philosophy. The phrase philosophy of technology was first used in the late 19th century by German-born philosopher and geographer Ernst Kapp, who published a book titled Grundlinien einer Philosophie der Technik. The Western term technology comes from the Greek term techni and philosophical views on technology can be traced to the very roots of Western philosophy. A common theme in the Greek view of techni is that it arises as an imitation of nature. Greek philosophers such as Heraclitus and Democritus endorsed this view. In his Physics, Aristotle agreed that this imitation was often the case, but also argued that techni can go beyond nature and complete what nature cannot bring to a finish. Aristotle also argued that nature and techni are ontologically distinct because natural things have an inner principle of generation and motion, as well as an inner teleological final cause. While techni is shaped by an outside cause and an outside telos which shapes it. Natural things strive for some end and reproduce themselves, while techni does not. In Plato's Timaeus, the world is depicted as being the work of a divine craftsman who created the world in accordance with eternal forms as an artisan makes things using blueprints. Moreover, Plato argues in the laws, that what a craftsman does is imitate this divine craftsman. Greek Philosophy during the period of the Roman Empire and late antiquity authors produced practical works such as Vitruvius de Architectura and Agricola S. de Re Metallica. Medieval scholastic philosophy generally upheld the traditional view of technology as imitation of nature. During the Renaissance, Francis Bacon became one of the first modern authors to reflect on the impact of technology on society. In his utopian work New Atlantis, Bacon put forth an optimistic worldview in which a fictional institution uses natural philosophy and technology to extend man's power over nature, for the betterment of society, through works which improve living conditions. The goal of this fictional foundation is, the knowledge of causes, and secret motions of things and the enlarging of the bounds of human empire, to the effecting of all things possible. Middle Ages to 19th Century The native German philosopher and geographer Ernst Kapp, who was based in Texas, published the fundamental book Grundlinien einer Philosophie der Technik in 1877. Kapp was deeply inspired by the philosophy of Hegel and regarded technique as a projection of human organs. In the European context, Kapp is referred to as the founder of the philosophy of technology. 19th century Another, more materialistic position on technology which became very influential in the 20th century philosophy of technology was centered on the ideas of Benjamin Franklin and Karl Marx. 20th century to present Five early prominent 20th century philosophers to directly address the effects of modern technology on humanity were John Dewey, Martin Heidegger, Herbert Marcuse, Gunter Enders, and Hannah Arendt. They all saw technology as central to modern life, although Heidegger, Enders, Arendt, and Marcuse were more ambivalent and critical than Dewey. The problem for Heidegger was the hidden nature of technology's essence, gestal, or end framing which posed for humans what he called its greatest danger and thus its greatest possibility. Heidegger's major work on technology is found in the question concerning technology. Technology and Neutrality 
Contemporary philosophers with an interest in technology include Jean Baudrillard, Albert Borgman, Andrew Feinberg, Langdon Winner, Donna Haraway, A. Vital Ronell, Brian Holmes, Don Ide, Bruno Latour, Paul Levinson, Ernesto Mays Valanilla, Carl Mitchum, Leo Marx, Gilbert Simondon, Louis Mumford, Jacques Ellul, Bernard Stiegler, Paul Virilio, Gunter Ropel, Nicole C. Carafilis, Richard Sennett, Alvaro Vieira Pinto and George Grant. While a number of important individual works were published in the second half of the 20th century, Paul Durbin has identified two books published at the turn of the century as marking the development of the philosophy of technology as an academic subdiscipline with canonical texts. Those were Technology and the Good Life, edited by Eric Higgs, Andrew Light, and David Strong and American Philosophy of Technology by Hans Achter Hughes. Several collected volumes with topics in philosophy of technology have come out over the past decade and the journals Techni, Research in Philosophy and Technology and Philosophy and Technology publish exclusively works in philosophy of technology. Philosophers of technology reflect broadly and work in the area and include interest on diverse topics of geoengineering, Internet data and privacy our understandings of Internet cats, technological function and epistemology of technology, computer ethics, biotechnology and its implications, transcendence in space, and technological ethics more broadly. Technological determinism is the idea that features of technology its use and the role of a progressive society was to adapt to technological change. The alternative perspective would be social determinism which looks upon society being at fault for the development and deployment of technologies. Reactions to the gun massacres were different in various regions. Leela Green used recent gun massacres such as the Port Arthur massacre and the Dunblane massacre to selectively show technological determinism and social determinism. Tasmanian authorities made gun laws even stricter than before, while there was a demand in the U.S. for the advocacy of firearms. And here lies the split, both in opinion and in social dimension. According to Green, a technology can be thought of as a neutral entity only when the socio-cultural context and issues circulating the specific technology are removed. It will be then visible to us that there lies a relationship of social groups and power provided through the possession of technologies. Journals Websites